Hey everybody, Jam Creates here with another video. Uh, this time we're talking about yet another book from Alterna Comics, uh, which is also, actually I didn't even realize this, is also number one in a three issue limited series. Uh, this one's called Psycho KO. Um, this is definitely very different from the other book that I did. Uh, if you guys saw it, I did a uh, video about Blood Realm, which is very dark and serious and, and really like creepy and weird and everything else. This book, not that way at all. This is by Rob Feldman and Peter Samedi. This book is silly and funny and, um, I mean, just look at the cover, obviously. It's not meant to be, like, super serious. And then, again, with the rating, rated E for everyone. So, it's definitely good for everybody. This book, again, uh, because it's an Alterna, published by Alterna, it's only $1.50 for the book. So, again, it's just worth, like, you know that impulse purchase of like, well, I don't know what this is, but it's a buck fifty, I'll try it. Like, that's the beauty of these books. And and if they start getting into more stores and, and things like, if they're in a 7-Eleven, let's say, or uh, a grocery store or something like that, and you know, you're in there with your kids and your kid is like, you know, I think, I think I would like a comic book. Look at that, can I get that, can I get that? It's a dollar fifty. You're gonna be like, yeah, sure, get it, read it, you know? The kid will actually read. Um, so anyway, getting into the book. Um, it is super colorful. And uh, it's very silly. I mean, it, it's meant to be a comedy. Um, Psycho is a stuntman, from what I gather. Uh, he lives on Super Earth. Uh, I'm not quite sure what that means. But um, you just kind of go with it. Uh, Kreskin is his boss, apparently, telling him he's got to get back. He can't be on vacation. He wants to go on vacation. Then he goes to Dippy's Donut Dive, um, where he gets a, uh, a, sh a shake from there. But um, the waitress there likes him. She's got a crush on him, but he's with his... I guess it's his girlfriend? Um, yeah, I guess. I don't know. Um, they never really say, but, I mean, they kind of make it pretty obvious. Um, her name is Peachy Keen, uh, which I like. I just think that's fun. Um, and you can see it's really bright and colorful. It looks fantastic on the newsprint. Um, definitely printed on newsprint, like, bright, bold colors. You see not an overabundance of shading or anything like that. Like, it's pretty much just flat colors. Very animated look to it. Um... And I definitely think this is something that could easily be turned into a cartoon. Um, here's the bad guy. Um, his name is Kuda Kano. I'm not really sure if I'm pronouncing that right. And then his little, uh, little kahuna is his little buddy there. Um, and they have this guy right here, this little, like, blob thingy. And I don't think they ever actually say what his name is <laughs> in the entire book. Um, I don't, maybe they will eventually. But, um... So they're at the beach, and then they're going to have a surfing contest. And, like, I mean, it's just pure silliness. Like, check it out. Like, they're having a surfing contest, and it's this giant squid at the beach that causes Psycho to fall. So he grabs his leg. And, like, it's just craziness. And then eventually, like, stuff goes down. There's a talking dolphin. He's the guy who owns the donut shop. Um, just a lot of, I mean, a lot of silliness. And then eventually it ends with them... It, it climaxes with them surfing down the volcano while the whole thing erupts and then like he flies away it's just craziness um it really is like silly silly stuff um but it really is just fun and then um you know they say for the next issue in 60 days psycho faces off against his greatest enemy himself dun 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 like it really is. It's a very funny book. The dialogue is quite funny. Um, it's just pure silliness. And I really think, like, kids will definitely enjoy it. I think um, I recommended my daughter. I told her she's got to read it because I think she'll really enjoy it. She hasn't read it yet. I, I, you know, I only told her today uh, that I think she would like it if she read it. So she said she's going to try it because um, it looks like fun. Um, so I definitely think, like, I would recommend this for... Um, I mean, I recommend it for anyone, honestly. I mean, like I said, it's a buck fifty, um, and it's funny and it's silly. If you ever enjoy watching cartoons at all, um, I definitely recommend this because it's definitely right in there. If you like those '90s cartoons, um, 
like uh i don't know like buzz lightyear of star command and and things like that like those cartoons from the 90s like kim possible and, and things like that like it definitely kind of has somewhat of a vibe like that like maybe a little more silly like maybe a little more hanna-barbera-ish in a way but um it's definitely fun and i definitely think that this thing is going to get optioned into a cartoon by somebody I, I really just believe that um i think it's just it's just perfect for it. the character designs the dialogue the silliness everything um i definitely see this someday getting picked up by a, a, as a cartoon and ironically it's actually kind of funny because I, I mentioned that on twitter where i think this is just made for it's screaming out for a cartoon adaptation and Rob Feldman, who's the creator of it, uh, tweeted back at me. He said they're actually working on something right now, um, animated, and they'll probably have a trailer out pretty soon. So I was excited to hear that. So, um, you know, one day I guess we'll find out. That's the other thing I really enjoy about all of the creators from Alterna so far that I've uh, come across in any of the books that I've been reading from them. Uh, anytime I mention them on Twitter, uh, even if I just post, hey, I just picked this up at the store. Those guys are very responsive, all of them, to, you know, to a T, every single one of them. They respond, they thank you for buying their book, they thank you for reading the book. If you enjoy it, they're like, oh, cool, they'll answer back, like, cool, I'm so glad you liked it. Um, like I said, I, I said how I think this would be primed for a cartoon, and he got back to me and said, yeah, well, actually, we're working on something. Um, so it's things like that, like, it's really neat, that, and I find that with, uh, Peter from Alterna, and then seemingly uh, the other Alterna creators, um, have definitely been, like, super responsive to tweets and stuff, and like I said, when I met, um, the, uh, Robert Geronimo, who created, uh, Blood Realm at, uh, New York City Comic Con, he was mad cool, I was talking to him for a few, for a little bit, um, so it's definitely cool to see, like, comics creators who appreciate customers for buying their books and then really enjoy getting feedback from people and talking to them and they're excited about the books that they're putting out that's the thing I think that's the big thing is unlike some other creators these creators are doing the stories they want to do these are like their babies you know and they're really excited about these books and they're really excited to share them with everyone and they're super excited when people want to talk about their stuff. They want to talk about it. They're excited about it. They're happy to talk about it. They want to promote it. They want people to read it. That's the whole point is to get it in as many people's hands as possible. So it's definitely cool to have that kind of interaction with these people. And I think that comes from the top. That comes from, from Peter Samedi, who runs Alterna, uh, who is definitely a super cool guy. I've talked to him on Twitter quite a few times, actually. And um, he's always been super cool, super supportive. Um, and really backs up his people, and it's just cool to see. Um, so anyway, that is Psycho KO. It is definitely worth checking out. It's definitely fun. Um, if you've got kids and your kids have zero interest in comic books, something like this might actually be something to get them into comic books, especially if you're afraid to buy them anything from Marvel or DC at this point because, you know, they might see something inappropriate or, or read something inappropriate. Um, there's no doubt that there's nothing inappropriate in this book, and it's fun, and I think they might enjoy it. Like, you can give this book to an eight-year-old, and they would probably read it and love it. Um, so that's it. That's my recommendation on this one. I would definitely say check it out, and um, I'll be back with another video soon, so don't forget to click the thumbs up, like, subscribe, hit the uh, bell for notifications so you know whenever a new video goes up. You can follow me on Twitter. I'm at jam underscore creates because I couldn't get it without the underscore. Um, so that's it. I will talk to you soon. All right, peace out.